Hey, it's Craig from Meet Me Outside once again. So on my last video, I talked about my, my hammock setup for this year anyway. Um, and I, I touched briefly on my suspension. I just want to go into that a little bit more in depth today. So for what I, what I do for the Beckett hitch is you have your continuous loop on your hammock. All right, and you take your, your webbing, whether it be nylon, polyester, or this dyna weave material from wool bonnet that I use. You just run it up through your continuous loop just like that, all right? And then all you do is you run a, I usually use this finger here to gather, hold this up for me, and you, you put a couple fingers through this opening, pull it through, and pull down, and you'll see this knot where your, your uh, continuous loop is on the top of the knot of the webbing, that's when you know it's correct, okay? And then there's minimal slippage that way. And to pull it out, you just pull on this, this tag you have left over, pull it right out just like that. Um, let's try that once again. You have your webbing going through your continuous loop. Run it under, and I pull it up with this finger, reach through and grab it, and pull it through itself, boom. It's super easy and quick. And again, adjustability is a matter of just doing this. Now, when I first started getting into hammocks about a decade ago, well, yeah, at least 10 years ago, I had a buckle webbing system, and I used that for about three or four, maybe five years. I had, a, I had whoopee slings for a, a little while. Didn't like them, though, because if your trees weren't, they're a great, they're great product, don't get me wrong. A lot of people swear by them. I just didn't like them in the sense that if your tree spacing wasn't perfect, um, if it was anything less than, I guess what I'm trying to say is once the whoopee slings are as short as they can possibly go and you have your tree straps, if there's any adjustability, there isn't any because they're already as short as they're going to go. So you know, I always had to have trees that were further away than I really wanted. But anyway, they're good for some people. I'm just not into them personally. So to me, Simple is better, less moving parts is better. So here you have, like again, one more time, you got your continuous loop, I hope you can see that. Some people pinch this right here, you can, and then just, again, I don't know if you can see this, you run it under, you just making a loop basically, make a loop, grab it with this finger or anything, come through the loop on the underside, or the top of your your uh, cord, but you're grabbing it from the top and pulling it through, and then just pull down on your on your hammock, and you can see that right there. It's your top of your continuous loop. Now, a lot of times with this kind of webbing, in particular, the slippery it's slippery and it turns almost into cordage when it's all bunched up like this but it's slick it's pretty slick so you can do a modified Beckett hitch or a double Beckett hitch and all I do for that is I do the same thing but instead of just grabbing this and pulling it through initially I'll go I'll run this loop over again twice basically so it's around the, the ridge line twice then pull it through so then it has double the cinching power on your continuous loop and it's e just as easy to pull out too let me show you that again and that's usually what I do now is I do I do the the double or the modified Beckett hitch again under just go over twice pull it through bingo so there you go that's the modified Beckett hitch quick and easy no metal no contraptions whatsoever. Boom. Over. Through. Down. Again, you know you tied it wrong if you don't see the top of your continuous loop on the up uphill side of the knot. You'll know it's wrong. So another thing I like to do with my hammock webbing, as you see now on my webbing, um, there's a pretty severe bend in this. It puts a lot of torque on this loop here on the end, whether you're using a carabiner or a clip or some sort of mechanical device. It puts an awful lot of torque on this connection that you can see right here. You're going to wear your straps out. So what I like to do is just move it to the side, however you, however you go around the tree. Now my 
my webbing is pretty much in a straight line around the tree. This comes up and goes around the tree and I'm pulling down on this pretty good with my right hand. There's no stress at all on this loop, see? There's nothing there at all stressing it out. Um, all the weight's being pulled in a straight line down to my hammock. So yeah, there you go. Just a couple more things to think about if you're just getting into hammocking or um, even if you've been into hammocking, it's always good to hear um, other people's ideas of doing things. All right, see you next time. Peace.